Jess. We are here for a quick tutorial on a lesson that uh, Jessica and I did. I'm Rebecca Reynolds. I'm a digital innovation leader for JCPS. And I'm Jessica Cullen. I'm a first grade teacher at Eisenhower. A flipped classroom lesson that we did in Jessica's elementary uh, math class. She teaches first grade, as she said. And so what um, a flipped classroom really is, is a pre-video activity, and we're gonna get into that, the Flip and Engage where they have a recorded lesson and then a post-video activity for afterwards. And there's tons of different ways you can go there, and we've got a link to the site if you want to learn more. So this is kind of how uh, we scaled it um, in Jessica's classroom. And for her pre-video activity, every morning she works with uh, math, like a little number talk, um, and they have been working with base 10 for a while. So that's something that she does daily as an engagement piece. And then for the flip and engage, I got to come in and record a video lesson to uh, show to the kids and they could watch. And if students weren't there, they could watch or if they need to refer to it, they can watch kind of how she records her lessons. And then their post video activity was um, their Cullen City that they made or mm -hmm. one NB2 and one NBT, sorry, four. Um, so they are on all different aspects and we really worked like live to make some differentiation happen um, throughout the lesson, which was nice. And then those technology standards, um, we used a variety of technologies to identify and solve authentic real world problems. They were building that city um, using their base 10 blocks with um, digital tools. And if you wanna look at those tech standards, they are down there. So our compelling question, how can we design a city in base 10 to represent double digit addition problems? Those backpack skills they use were prepared and resilient learner, productive collaborator, and emerging innovator. And then in the SAMR model, we wanna to try to live in that transformation um, portion, which is in that modification and redefinition. I'd say that this lesson falls right at that modification where we're taking something that is usually done hands-on in a classroom and transforming that into something that students were doing together and uh, digitally. So our objectives in a city using base 10, based off an addition problem with my partner. And then here was the rubric that we showed them and kind of discussed uh, to get in that three range that we're gonna be looking at their base 10, how they design and build if they made a creative city and uh, did something innovative and then if they were collaborating with their partner properly and being respectful. And then to drive their engagement, uh, they watched this video before, so that's there if you wanna watch. And we, we did kind of twist the lesson a little bit uh, and updated it, but we don't have to watch that. And then one thing that um, Jessica and I figured out while we uh, were working with Base 10 is the students were having a hard time, especially her sweet first graders, going through and two finger clicking and copying and pasting to get like to represent the number 74. So for infinite cloning, if you guys have a manipulative that you want to do, you're just going to um, paste it a ton and then you're going to select all of them. And then right click and you're going to do a line horizontally in the center, and then you're gonna do the same thing, align vertically in the middle. And then while you're still selecting that, they will, oops, unselect, they will seem like it's an infinite cloner, but it's, it's just how many ever you put in there. So that was something cool we figured out. But for just a quick demo of what her students were doing, there's no sound on this. Uh, they were all collaborating live in this Google slide uh, deck. And we were thinking, or I was thinking we should use Google Drawings and this is so much better to watch live, watch collaboration. So I got to learn that from Jessica and it was really cool to get to see them working together um, and learn through that. Yeah, Google Slides, it helps to see. So they have their own slides. Each group had their own slide to work on. And I can watch in real time. We watched them manipulating and we were able to jump in and help if we could see someone's kind of struggling. It was um, 
it makes collaborating and virtually, you know, kind of noticing what they're doing easier. Yeah. And I love that you just share it or make it public. And then she just drops it right in the chat and they click mm -hmm. on it and there's no extra steps of going to your Google classroom and checking it out through there. So I thought that was pretty cool. Yes. It kind of um, eliminates them accidentally going out of me. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes if they would click on a toolbar on their toolbar or clever, sometimes they would close out me to open a new tab. So if they just open up in that chat, it opens up a new tab and they're good to go. Perfect. And then this was just an example of something that a little group worked on and they manipulated those tens and ones to make windows, larger buildings, add color, add other mm -hmm. shapes. So for a first grader, I think this is amazing use of tools. Mm -hmm. They did great. And they really haven't used tools and shapes. We haven't done a whole lot with that. So that was kind of their first go at it. And I was very impressed with them. Same. Um, and then afterwards, uh, Jessica kind of talked to them and brought it all back together and didn't just end the class. She was kind of like, what did you guys do today? What did you use? How did you represent your problem? And really have a reflection for the students. Um, I liked uh, witnessing that. That's my favorite part. Just asking them what what we did, see if they can you know, tell me exactly what we did. And that's number talks, all of that. It's my favorite part of math and um, listening to how they piece it together in their mind and what they were thinking about. And then that's it for us. But uh, I encourage you to check out the math teacher playlist. That's where this is going to be um, and check out more.